Galactic Federation Update, August 12, 2014. 2 Kalak, 17 Pop, 11 Nick. Selimad Balak. We return. Your world is now in the midst of a process which is to release those funds concerned with what is called currency reevaluation. This process concerns a number of currencies which need to reclaim various monies that were involved in off-country currency exchanges. Along with these needed exchanges are the beginnings of the actual delivery of the many prosperity programs. These funds are to be the forerunner of an operation to lead to the proclaiming of Nasara in the United States. The reason for this sudden movement of funds is due to the special actions of our earthly allies. They have been able to corner enough of the Cabal's generals to permit this action to finally start. The rise of new governance coincides with a series of actions which are defeating the various monetary strategies of the Dark Cabal. Over the past few months, these brave fellows have forced the defeat of the Dark and allowed a new monetary policy to work its magic. Fiat money, upon which the Dark built its strength, is beginning to fade and has rapidly been surpassed by new monies built upon the rising gold standard. As noted in earlier messages, a vast sea of gold is being readied for its worldly unveiling. The world's ancient families concealed this gold in hidden places. These families are dedicated to the light, and wish only to aid Quan Yin and Saint Germain in bringing forth a global prosperity tied to a new age of light and freedom. What is occurring now are the final steps in a vast, complex strategy to bring peace, prosperity, and natural sovereignty to all. Eons ago, Heaven gave the Dark a timetable to rule the surface of Gaia. This abomination is now to end. The transitions needed to do this are well underway. The Dark Cabal is to answer for its crimes by being denied power, which these monies can easily provide. Instead, they are to suffer for what they have done by watching their wealth and power disappear. The age of imaginary, easily manipulated fiat money is over. The time comes for a return to an endless supply of real money based upon the true value of gold and silver. These changes are to bring in an age of disclosure. You are not only to see a vast series of suppressed inventions paraded before you, but also a full disclosure about us, ending a decades-long UFO cover-up. This initial cover-up came into play because we represented a threat not only to the continued power of the various dark governments, but also to their overlords, the various Anunnaki tribes. Since time immemorial, the Anunnaki had sequestered a whole slew of earthly-born technologies. They considered this a means to undermine the principles given you for your carefully adjusted religion and science. The Anunnaki and their minions do not intend to produce a sliver of valid opposition to the pap given you over the millennia. Theirs was a special set of precepts to control and when necessary, manipulate events as they so wished. This mutual admiration society began to develop rifts when the Anchara Continuum declared peace. This action forced the Anunnaki to abandon their dark ways and command their minions to do likewise. Since this happened in 1995, the dark minions have carried on the silent war for global power. This war is now failing. The light is winning. The prosperity and new governance are ready to be announced. When this starts to occur, know in your heart that a number of parallel actions are happening. The fiat monetary system is to fall and be replaced by a gold-backed one. The current supremacy of the US dollar is to end. A number of regional currencies are then to come to the fore. This is to be the start of a transition to a new true value currency. Our initial task is to announce ourselves to be here and benevolent. We are to give you technology that weans you from your need to farm and manufacture. The true sentient mind seeks a divine education, based upon the truths of existence and the way of Ian. It seeks to become fully conscious and be a true servant to all creation. We come in this light and ask you, as commanded by the Creator, to join us and take your divine gifts to the stars. We are therefore here to heed your wishes and lead you to full consciousness. Hallelujah. 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 Blessings. We are your Ascended Masters. We come on this day with much good news. 
our various associates are finishing off the means to issue the RV and to set up the new ways to deliver the prosperity programs. These actions are to begin to move the wealth of this world. You are to benefit from what is needed to be done to shift great wealth from the denizens of the dark to the supporters of the light. We bless you and ask that you take these monies and use them to make this realm better for all. Let your inner wishes for healing centers, depositories for light, and so forth come into fruition. Educate the public about what you know. Expand their awareness of the grand physical and spiritual changes happening throughout this globe. Let the light be known in its many glories. The moment arrives. The dark has long proclaimed its so-called truths. Let you now send out your blessings and inner truths. Be in a grand oneness and tap into what heaven desires for you to proclaim. As the various monies are received by you, bear in mind that your sudden gift of wealth carries with it a divine purpose. Each day, when you wake with this wealth, Plan carefully how you wish to apply it. Each organization that you found or fund is to further the way of the light. A broad strategy is to be laid out by us. A grand blessing is given to you for your endeavors. A tree of light is manifesting, with each of you as a branch. Be ready to use your daily meditations and prayers to give you the clarity needed for this work. We intend to take our blessings to you and assist you, in our way to direct these funds to good use. Those who are to forge new governance have been made aware of what needs to be done first. These initial orders are to set the foundation for what is to follow. This new structure is to phase into the new economic system that is nearly ready to manifest. Long ago, the dark plunged us all into the terror that is limited consciousness. We are now able to adjust to its limits and realize that this dark time is nearly over. Heaven permitted us to gradually return to our natural state after lifetimes of trial and error. Our task is therefore to assist and guide you through what remains of this present state of humanity. Heaven sends you its sacred children to aid us all in making this glorious transition safely and swiftly. Our system of planets and sun need to be restored so that we can again occupy the four grand water planets once found here. Many of you still remember when these other worlds existed as habitable lands. We are to return to these as our base for moving out into physicality. There is still much which heaven expects us to do. This galaxy is only our first step in carrying out the sacred edicts of heaven. Blessings to you and to the All High Creator. Today, we continued our messages. Many great events are now forming. These events are to allow you to transform and unify the realms of inner and surface earth. Our fleet awaits what is shortly to happen. The Agarthans are also prepared to reveal themselves when we start our set of lessons. Know, dear ones, that the countless supply and never-ending prosperity of heaven are indeed yours. So be it. Selamat Gajan. Selamat Ya, Syrian for B1. And be in joy. Channeled by Sheldon Nidal. www.paoweb.com